The provision of an alerting service is a requirement for all contracting states of the ICAO. They all agree to provide search and rescue facilities for all aircraft flying in the airspace of that state. To enable them to do this, they need a formal system by which they will control all the necessary elements of a search and rescue organisation, such as a regional control centre. Such a system is known as the alerting service and is part of the air traffic service. Flight information centres, or area control centres, are required to provide the alerting service and ensure that aircraft in any emergency situation are given the assistance they need. The alerting service shall be provided for all aircraft provided with an air traffic control service, in so far as is possible to all other aircraft having filed a flight plan or otherwise known to the air traffic services, to any aircraft known or believed to be the subject of unlawful interference. In the event of an emergency happening to an aircraft whilst under the control of an aerodrome control tower or an approach control service, the unit is to immediately inform the Flight Information Centre or Area Control Centre for them to initiate response action. When the urgency of the situation requires an immediate response, then the local control unit will alert and take all necessary steps to set in motion the emergency service response. There are three phases of the alerting service. The uncertainty phase in SURFER. Except where no doubt exists as to the safety of the aircraft and its occupants, the uncertainty phase is declared when no communications have been received from an aircraft for 30 minutes after the time communications should have been received, or an aircraft fails to arrive within 30 minutes of the estimated time of arrival as notified to or estimated at an ATSU. The alert phase, alerfer. Except when evidence exists that would allay apprehension as to the safety of the aircraft and its occupants, or when the distress phase is more appropriate, the alert phase is declared when, following the uncertainty phase, subsequent attempts to establish communications with the aircraft or other relevant sources have failed to reveal any news of the aircraft, or an aircraft has been cleared to land and fails to land within five minutes of the estimated time of landing, and communications with the aircraft have not been re-established, or information has been received that indicates that the operating efficiency of the aircraft has been impaired, but not to the extent that a forced landing is likely, or an aircraft is known or believed to be the subject of unlawful interference. The Distress Phase Detresfer. Except where there is reasonable certainty that the aircraft and its occupants are not threatened by grave and imminent danger and do not require immediate assistance, the distress phase is declared when, following the alert phase, further unsuccessful attempts to establish communication with the aircraft and more widespread unsuccessful inquiries point to the probability that the aircraft is in distress or the fuel on board is considered to be exhausted or to be insufficient to enable the aircraft to reach safety or information is received which indicates that the operating efficiency of the aircraft has been impaired to the extent that a forced landing is likely or information is received or it is reasonably certain that the aircraft is about to make or has made a forced landing. Information passed to the Rescue Coordinating Centre, RCC, by an alerting unit will include as much of the following as possible at the time. The uncertainty phase, the alert phase and the distress phase, as appropriate to the phase of emergency, agency and person calling, nature of emergency, significant information from the flight plan, unit which made last contact, at what time and on which frequency, last position reported and how it was determined, any action taken by the reporting office, aircraft colour and distinctive markings, any other pertinent information. If information is not immediately available and a distress phase is likely to follow, then the unit will continue to collect and pass on any missing information. Units are also to update rescue coordinating centres 
should the circumstances of any emergency change. When it is established that other aircraft may be in the vicinity of an emergency situation, they are to be informed of the nature of the incident. If an aircraft is believed to be the subject of unlawful interference, then other aircraft are not to be informed about it, so as not to aggravate the situation. Should communications emanate from such an aircraft, then subsequent communications may refer to the situation.